Denny, that's a plug and that's not an amp. <laughs> yeah. Turn it up a little bit. That's pretty crazy, isn't yeah, it? Crazy. Yeah. All right, so my name's Paul Reed Smith, and um, Mick Olish from Waves sat me down and said that they were had a new modeling technology for amplifiers, and I was like, yeah, right, we've been done this before. He goes, no, we got this new thing where we do every part. And I thought that was cool, so I sent him one of your amplifiers, a 100 watt, and they put a thousand wires in it and measured at every single node on every single part. And one of the people flew to my studio and plugged the uh, initial plug-in into my speakers, and it sounded just like the amp. I mean, the I had the amp there, right? And I went, well, that's interesting. I like that very much. So we sent them an Archon, and then eventually we sent them a Dallas. And in the end, the idea is that you can use this plug-in to immediately be able to record tracks. Now, you know, Denny, how hard it is to mic amplifiers. It's yeah. very difficult. Punch. I can feel it. Sounds yeah. beautiful. So, one of the real tests here is if you turn the treble up, does it start to sound thin, right? So we're going to turn the treble. Up. turns the treble on a uh, super reverb all the way up. They just don't do it. Right. So, so if you turn the amp up a little bit, does it start to react like an amp, right? In a real guitar amp, what happens when you're playing one string, it's clean. But two strings... You turn the mat, you turn the gain up even more. Turn it up more. Turn it up, turn it up. so well that when you turn the, the uh, gain on the front of the amp up, the reverb is driven harder. I mean, that's a, they did it that's, literally wire by wire by wire by wire. Crazy. And the idea here is that you're recording ready. You'll be able to use this. Now, we used old SM7 microphones, what Michael Jackson sang through for Thriller and what Body Rate sang through for Dick of Time. We used those on the cabinets, and we had cabinets with old uh, uh, M's um, from the old Celestian speakers. We had H's, we had 55 uh, hertz M's, we had old 65s, we had a whole bunch of PRS speakers, we had 65s, we had um, vintage 30s, and all those cabinets are available, and what you're listening to is two of them mixed. You can mix them in stereo, or you can mix them in mono. So you pick two cabinets, and you get the ones you like the most, and you vary the amount any way that you want. Right. Wow. Now, I've got this thing dying, and you can hear and you can hear the power supply come down. They even have controls with how much dip you want in the power supply. It's all sitting there for the taking. There's tuners there. There's also people yelling in the. <laughs> 
All right, so let's go to another amp. Let's go to the amp that you have, Denny, okay? Yeah. So this was an amp that we never released. It was called a V9 Blue Sierra, and you have both V9s and Blue Sierras. You have both of them. Yeah. And we never released it, but they had a 100-watt version of it. Does that sound like your amp? Yeah. I hate to say it, but yeah. Dallas, you can hear the mids were more scooped out. There was more bass and treble, and this is more mid-range forward, which yeah. is why you like using this thing in the studio, right? Alright, so now we're going to turn the high gain section on. That ain't, your amp that ain't right. That, that is right. He owns the prototype. Does that sound like your amp? It sounds just like it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy. wild? <laughs> it's crazy. So I said to him, I said, we've, 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 we've modeled your amplifier, Denny. He goes, yeah, I'll have to come see this. <laughs> but Denny, if you were on the other side of the glass and I told you that was a mic damp, you'd believe me. I, I would. Yeah. Well, and I that's do it a every big day. deal, right? Yeah. I mean, in a way, what we're, we're getting into here is the whole Kemper fractal market, right? But with amplifiers that we, that we love, right? Sounds with, like it. Yeah. Sounds like you're in right So let's put the arc on. So we did an Archon. An Archon is our heavy metal amp that's on tour of these 100 watt the thing about the Archon is it's got a ridiculous amount of high end on the clean chip. And one of the knobs that we have decides how much really short reverb is around the microphone. Because when you IR a mic, it's not getting the reverb part. And so we've added that so that you have a teeny bit of room in the, in the microphone. Mm -hmm. stages on how loud the cabinet IRs are. You've got gain stages having to do with what the um, uh, gain for the preamp is. You've got gain for the output. You've got gain uh, uh, for how loud the guitar comes in. How is that? <laughs> it almost started the Evo on me. I did. indistinguishable through studio monitors from the real end. So does anybody have any questions about what I'm talking about here? You guys are nodding in approval. That's good. It sounds awesome. You said that. I did. Yeah, but you work for Waves. That's, that's, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Do you want, really? You liked it? Sounds awesome. Wow. You're a good guitar player, too. That's good. Like, you ran that. You ran that as your live rig. 
ran that as a live rig and then had pedals in front of it because it's a platform. No problem. Yeah, yeah. and because it's a media, there's no delay either, right? It's like zero. You got I run it in 88 to 128 uh, samples, right? Yeah. But there's a lot of hidden um, a delay in some of the 80 to 80 to 80. 100%. You got to make sure you get good 80 to 80. 100%. That is the most. Uh,